<laughs> Action. <laughs> Yourselves, and then I'm going to ask you a few questions about your experience of the Dive Master program. Where are you from and what's your name? Where did you learn to scuba dive? I'm Mariana <laughs> and I'm from the US and I learned to scuba dive actually just all here in Utah. Nice! Yes. Um, I'm Anna, I'm uh, from Slovenia and I actually learned how to scuba dive in Thailand oh, uh, in cool. 2018. Potao. I'm Colin, I'm from California, and I learned to scuba dive in Santa Barbara, California, my nice. hometown. Is that where you're from? Yeah. Yeah, cool. So, the first question I'm going to ask you guys is, what were your reasons for becoming a scuba professional? Like, was there a moment in time that helped you make that decision, like a certain dive or a certain point in your diving history? How about you, Mark? There wasn't really a turning point um, when I finally realized I wanted to do Dive Master. I came in knowing I wanted to do Dive Master, which sounds crazy because I did everything here. Um, had no recent experience before coming here. Um, I just wanted to reach a good high level of diving so that I would be like self-sufficient in the water and just like, uh, yeah, be very like safe, understanding of the theory behind diving. So it was just interesting to me yeah. because of that. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Anna? Mm -hmm. um, for me, I know I just uh, loved hot, um, I mean, I just like diving. Yeah. <laughs> so um, once I did my rescue, I realized I want to become also more confident and yeah. like help um, on boats more, be more yeah. involved with assisting. So mm -hmm. I think that was like the main reason. I'm confident. Yeah. Like, um, help more. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice. Colin? For me, I studied like marine science in college, mm -hmm. so diving was sort of part of that. Yeah. Um, I did a few like research internships, and then um, I've always been like growing up around the water. My mm -hmm. dad's like the reason I got into scuba diving. Really, yeah. To just becoming a better scuba diver, learning more about like the theory of diving. So it's like the next like natural step yeah, to exactly. take. Yeah. Cool. Why did you guys choose to come here to the Bay Islands College of Diving to do your dive master training? I heard lots of great things about uh, the Bay Islands College of Diving. I did a lot yeah. of research because um, it was my first ever like dive center. And um, yeah, it just kept you guys kept popping up on Instagram for me. Nice. And um, I loved that you all had a hyperbaric chamber on site. That was mm -hmm. a good selling point yeah, for me um, and it just looked like a good group of people just on the surface and uh, the website was very detailed and I got a good feeling so that's why I chose yeah. the bands. How about you guys? Um, for me it was actually um, one of my instructors in Canada mm -hmm. he used to work and live here and oh, so nice. he would recommend this uh, place and also like I was here uh, with my group of divers from Canada two mm -hmm. years ago and I really like the place and yeah. so I was debating either to do it in Canada in cold water or coming yeah. here <laughs> so I chose I chose this place yes I don't yeah. blame you <laughs> yeah for me uh, I've been looking to do my dive master for a little bit mm -hmm. and Utila like always pops up as like a top spot for yeah. your dive master mm -hmm. and then a friend from back home came down here and did the Zork and like dive master instructor here. Yeah. And I asked her and she said she had a So it was a good recommendation. Yeah. yeah, for sure. What would you say, so you guys are probably like halfway through your DM now, maybe some of you coming towards the end. Has there been like a point where it is your favorite memory or like most rewarding part of the dive master program? Has there like been a standout moment? My favorite moment was um, probably Currently, what I'm doing now, which is assisting, because yeah. I really like teaching. And even though I'm not like the instructor, I'm just assisting. You still get to like uh, point out 
out helpful tips because you wear yeah. their shoes and it's just like really nice just being able to, mm -hmm. I don't know, explain things a different way and really help that person grow. Yeah. Yep. That's what nice. I like. Yeah. Yeah, for me as well, um, like being able to assist uh, was really rewarding. Like I had the opportunity to assist an open water mm -hmm. uh, course, so it was really, really nice um, to see like a new new person learn how to dive, how to like breathe underwater and like yeah. overcoming all the struggles or like, yeah, it was really rewarding yeah. in school. Yeah, so that's like... I would say it was the most rewarding thing, mm -hmm. also like just helping on the boat as well, like, yeah. and, um, newer divers, and, yeah. Um, so my dad actually came down a couple weeks ago and did his advanced course here. Oh yeah, nice. So I got to assist on his advanced course. He's been like my dive buddy and we dove all around the world. Yeah. So giving him a hard time that I'm a higher certification. Yeah. <laughs> Finally, what do you guys see yourself doing in the future when you um, become certified dive masters? Do you want to work in this industry? Is there like another purpose for it? I don't, um, I see it as a benefit being a dive master um, because then it does give you a little more leverage into the professional realm of diving. However, I don't think that me personally, I'm going to enter that field mm -hmm. as a profession. I, I kind of just want to enjoy traveling and yeah. enjoy being a safe diver mm -hmm. and um, so more about like, becoming like a confident just diver. Just a confident and, like, diver, that's what I really want yeah. to gain from this mm -hmm. whole experience. But, um, yeah, that's nice. Oh, see, see where it takes you. Yeah. I'll, I'll still keep my options open, yeah. but for me that's where I'm at right now. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, thank you. And for me, I'm actually doing my IDC in January, so nice. I'm on, like, on the way to become instructor as well. So yeah. eventually I'll be able to teach. Um, so I think that's really cool. So you see yourself actually doing like instructing? And, yeah. Yeah. I don't know if it's gonna be full time, maybe just like yeah. a side hustle or something. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure yet. But yeah. We'll see. And color? So I like I said, I studied marine science and college so ideally I would get a job marine conservation something like that yeah nice. but if not I know I'll be like a diver for the rest of my mm -hmm. life so diving around the world just yeah do so you see yourself diving. taking the next level of an instructor not in the like near future but yeah. maybe I don't I haven't decided yet yeah cool that was great to chat with you guys um, and I can't wait to see you become dive masters and see what you do. Thank you guys for watching um, and we'll be back next week with a new video. Ooh.